Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, we're going over the best controller on PC. Let's get started. Now to kick things off, I've been asked this question, I couldn't even tell you how many times. A lot of people want to know what the best controller to use on PC is. On PC, there are a ton of different types of games to play. Retro games, shooting games, racing games, fighting games, RPGs, I could just keep going down the list. The big problem I have is trying to find one controller that does everything very well. Now previously, I did used to recommend the wired version of the Xbox 360 controller as kind of a general purpose controller that worked well with mostly all types of games. One of the big drawbacks of the Xbox 360 controller was the D-pad, so for retro games and for fighting games, it wasn't necessarily the best option. And also what I used to do was recommend multiple different types of controllers. It would depend on the games that you were playing. For example, for retro games, 8 Do does an amazing job. They have some great controllers. The D-pad is extremely similar to the original SNES D-pad. And if you don't believe me, I did a teardown of the 8 Do SNES 30, which is almost the exact same version as this one here, and it was closer to the original SNES controller than the SNES Classic controller was. I was blown away, I did not expect that, but 8 Do has done an amazing job at replicating the original Super Nintendo controller. Another advantage of 8 Do controllers is that you can use them on multiple systems. You can use them on Android, you can use them on PC, you can even use them on the Nintendo Switch. At a high level here, I'd sometimes recommend the Hori Fighting Commander. Um, I did have issues with the D-pad on mine. Mine wore out very quickly, but on the other hand, some people have said they've had no issues and have used the controller for years. So, you know, it's kind of a bit of a toss up, maybe keep your receipt, but sometimes I'd also recommend the DualShock 4 because the DualShock 4 is a fantastic controller on its own. And I also did a video on how to get it working with Windows. However, in my opinion, the best all-in-one controller on Windows is the Xbox One controller. I highly recommend this controller, and it doesn't matter if you're playing fighting games, if you're playing racing games, if you're playing an RPG, or you're playing a retro game even. The Xbox One controller is a fantastic controller. I quite love it. It is my daily driver in terms of controllers that I do use with a PC. Now I recommend the Xbox One controller on PC for a number of reasons, aside from it being suited for pretty much all game types. This controller connects very easily to Windows 10. All you have to do is plug this controller into the computer or connect it via Bluetooth and provided your Windows 10 does have an internet connection, it will download the drivers automatically. Most games recognize the Xbox One controller and you don't often have to remap the controls to get things working correctly. I also love the layout of the Xbox One controller. The thumbsticks are in a very comfortable position. I find long gaming sessions very comfortable on this controller. With the DualShock 4, I do find my thumbs tend to get a little tired uh, just because of where these thumbsticks are located. If I'm using the D-pad all day, playing maybe a fighting game or something like that, it's absolutely fine. Uh, but if I'm using the, the thumbsticks on the DualShock 4, my thumbs actually get a lot more tired than when I'm using the Xbox One controller. On top of that, the Xbox One controller I find to be fairly solidly built. I haven't really had any issues. I did break one Xbox controller. I broke the bumper right here on the right side on a previous controller I had because I dropped it. So I dropped it out of everywhere to land on the controller, it landed right on the bumper and broke it. Um, so that was pretty unfortunate, but in terms of overall reliability, joystick drift or anything like that, I haven't had any issues. I also recommend the Xbox One controller over the Xbox Elite controller. Now the Xbox Elite controller is a better overall controller. It is better in pretty much every aspect. It's an incredible controller. You can configure it, but the issue with the Xbox Elite controller is the price. It's uh, my hands covering it right there, but right there you can see. $179.99 versus the 50 bucks for the Xbox One controller. But I will say if price isn't a concern and you want to spoil yourself just a little bit, the Xbox Elite controller is an incredible piece of hardware. But really for the everyday person, the Xbox One controller is almost perfect. The D-pad on this is also incredible. So it's suited for both fighting games and retro games. I find the D-pad on this very precise. And if you can hear that, it's also very clicky. I love how this feels 
I love the tactile feel of this D-pad and the responsiveness. So if you are looking for that all-in-one kind of controller that can tackle pretty much all of the games very well, then the Xbox One controller is where it's at for PC. On top of that, it is only 50 bucks. It's a very reasonable price for a very good controller. And I say almost all games because if you do play shooters, I would definitely recommend a mouse and keyboard. It is a far superior control method. You can argue that one left, right, and center. But at the end of the day, if you're playing online competitively and someone has a mouse and keyboard, they have a major advantage over you if you're using a controller. But anyways, that's all I've got. Now let me know in the comments below what controller you use for PC if you do use one. What is your favorite controller? If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.